Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. And uh, in this video, we will see the drug information storage for pharma D students, for all pharmacists. It is very important. And I am making this video into two parts. Two parts. That is a part one and part two. I will explain you. And it was very interesting topic also. Uh, here you can see the pen drive. This is a pen drive. Okay. Drug information storage. The drug information where you have to storage, how you have to storage. Okay. Yeah. This is the syllabus as per the Pharmacy Council of India for your Pharma D course uh, in the biostatistics and research methodology subject. Total third unit only on the computers. Third unit. Computer applications in pharmacy. How you are using a computer for your pharmacy field. That was very, very important topic for nowadays. Nowadays for the students. That point you have to keep in your mind very strongly. And in this uh, third unit, we are covering today in this video, this part. Drug information, retrieval and storage. But here, retrieval I will do in the next videos. Okay, Drug information storage we are going to be see in this video. That is also the two parts we will see. Part one and part two. This is uh, from textbook matter. If you see like this, you cannot uh, feel, we can't feel the interest to read the subject. That's why I'm making all these videos for students facility only, okay? Application, see here, this is a textbook name, application of computers in pharmacy, okay? There's a name of the textbook and the drug information storage and the retrieval. This is a textbook matter. Only one point they have given, see here, uh, types of storage media, hard drive, floppy disk, CD, DVD, USB flash drive. Okay, what is a drug information? Here they have given the basic uh, thing. And uh, only one point they have given. See here, this is a hard drive, floppy disk. So we cannot understand much easily if you see like this. That's why I'm making the videos. Okay, so like a CD, DVD, USB pen drive, flash drive. This is all from your textbook only. So textbook matter is not sufficient. That's why I'm making a big matter. I'm enlarging the matter also, okay, with the help of a diagrams, okay, so that you can understand easily within a small time, okay? Yeah, right. See, first we come to the drug information. See, each and every drug is having a number of properties, number of characters. For a, see here, for example, you take one drug, paracetamol, complete information of the paracetamol you have to be take. See, structure, Paracetamol structure, paracetamol molecular formula, molecular weight, solubility, dose, dosing interval, dosage forms, which is present in the market, okay, storage conditions, okay, and here dosage forms, you will get a brand names also. Paracetamol is a generic name. Brand names, there is a plenty of brand names are there, okay. A storage conditions, uh, where you have to store the paracetamol, labeling conditions, therapeutic uses, mechanism of action, side effects, adverse effects, indications, in which you have to indicate this paracetamol. Okay, contraindication, where you cannot write the paracetamol in a prescription. Okay, contraindication. Both are opposite. Indications, contraindication, drug-drug interactions. Paracetamol will interact with the number of drugs. For a human beings, it is not possible like this to remember. Drug-drug interactions, drug-food interactions, pharmacokinetics, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and kinetics, ADME, excretion, okay? Half-life, precautions to be taken while writing the prescription, while giving the dispensing, what are the precautions you have to take? For a, this is for a single drug of paracetamol. So for many drugs, all this information, for a human beings, it is not possible to keep in this mind. That's why what you have to do, you have to use a computer only. You must use a computer. This is the basic drug information you have to keep in your mind. Structural formula, everything about the drugs. There is a lags together drugs are there. That it is not possible for a human beings. That's why computer is must, must, must. Yeah, here you can see the, uh, this is all paramedical stuff. See first this one. Paramedical staff. Who are all these are paramedical staff? See, doctor is there. In doctor also two types are there. Most of the students, they do not know. Consultant. Only they will consult and they will write the prescription uh, to take. And whereas the surgeons also there. See, this fellow is a surgeon. This doctor is surgeon. He is a doctor. He is a nurse. Uh, and he is a patient. Patient is unable to come. Then patient relatives will come. Nurse, surgeon, consult. All these called as a staff, as a medical staff or paramedical staff. 
they want the information regarding the drug even patient also when uh, for which purpose this drug is taking how many times we have to take what is the dose what is the dose strength when when i have to stop this either before meals after like that so many questions are there in the mind of the all these paramedical or medical staff what they want is they want the dir drug uh, drug information that's why they will give the request they will request to the pharmacist see here drug information request dir all these persons this diagram you have to write in the exam very very important dir not available in the textbook dir drug information request so this person is a pharmacist he is a hero pharmacist okay he is sitting because he know about well know about the drug because he only manufacturer discovery manufacturer dispensing up to the patient he is only the hero for the drug that's it because they know paramedical stuff they know well about the medicine but not much depth okay only pharmacist is a right having a right for discovery right for manufacturing right for dispensing right for the storage right everything where the drug is there there must be pharmacist so this is a drug information center see pharmacist is a real picture sitting in a dic drug information center see here this is a drug information center uh, and in this computers are num- compulsory nowadays this drug information you have to store so whenever these persons will ask the request the drug information he has to get this information from here from the computers and all he has to be get that information he has to give it to the uh, paramedical staff this is called a dis drug information service see here dis drug information service this is a drug information center 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 of pharmacist is there drug information center okay yeah various terms you can see now di means drug information dir means drug information request drug information service dic means drug information center okay and di is a important job a job of a pharmacist especially for pharma d or pharmacist b pharm c m pharm c for all thing uh, it is a very very important part of the dis and dis yes okay dir dir is a see what i have told in the same matter only dir drug information request from a paramedical staff of a hospital doctors nurse health pro- health care providers patients patient relatives okay dis is always from a pharmacist information service provider is a pharmacist yeah da drug information where you have to storage in old and days they are storing in the textbooks or volumes and nowadays no nobody was using the thing okay drug, because a lot of information is there and whenever they will ask you have to search everything it is not possible by having a physically books everything is a software only software okay even students also now not studying about the textbooks only youtube videos that's why i am making youtube videos for all the pharmacy courses b pharmacy m pharmacy all subjects i am going to be uh, explain you no problem at all but it may takes uh, some period no problem so drug information storage types where you have to store the drug information mainly two things are there devices like a pen drive cd example i gave the pen drive cd cd drive dvd okay like that many things are there all this called as a devices but nowadays nobody was using the devices in future nowadays at least they are using in a few but after two years or three years even no devices no pen drive no cd player no dvd nothing only non devices things like a google drive plenty of information you can store in the google drive freely they will give up to 10 10 gb or like that but after that you have to pay but plenty of material you can store in the google drive that's why what i am doing is this i will cover in this part 1 devices non devices very very important one these non devices i will cover in the part 2 video okay next video first we will see in this video what is a devices non devices you can store okay uh, in devices like a pen drive I give example what is this differences between a devices and non devices device is a physical existence it is a no physical existence it is a hardware these devices are as hardware 
pen drive, CD, and all. Here it is a software. Google Drive is a software. Pen drive is a hardware. Okay. And offline, here, uh, if you store the information in the pen drive, it is offline only, not in the online. You can, you have to connect it to the computer if you want to, to draw a, a files and all. Whereas here, this is online. Internet connection is must, that's it. That is for non-devices. For devices, internet not required. Okay, that's why here I have not accessible through the internet. Easy accessible through the internet. If internet is there, open Google, Google Drive and get drug information, you can store there. You can plenty of information, you can store in the Google Drive. It can't accessible in many devices at a time. See, pen, pen drive is there. How many times you can see only, uh, at particular time, only one person can see. Because pen drive, you cannot make it copy and do uh, it. Okay, pen drive, only one person can see. But here, it, Google, not, Google Drive, not like that. Throughout the countries, Throughout the country, if you just store the information in the Google Drive, number of your friends who are all working in other countries are patient, patient relatives, they can see at a time, at a time number. Of. That is a main advantage of the non-devices, like a Google Drive. And it cannot be accessible by many people at a time in a different places of the world. Here they can place a different time. Here they can accessible in many devices. This is very, very important. Pen drive, if you attach to the computer, you can see only in the laptop. You can access only in the laptop only, not in your mobile phone. Whereas a non devices, if you store the drug information in the Google Drive, you can see directly in your mobile phone. Only password is that's it. Uh, and you can see in the laptop, you can see in the computer, which device you want. You can see all your information in all the devices. Whereas if it is a pen drive, you have to connect it to only one device. If you want to see in the mobile, you cannot connect the pen drive to the mobile phone like that. That is the main speciality of the non-devices, okay? And the chances of data errors is there in pen drive, but here there is no chance of data errors. It, it was there in the Google Drive. Okay, here I am giving the examples like a devices. All these are the devices in world and they are using nowadays only pen drives are using uh, because it is a last portion see that's why here pen drive is important usb flash drive hard drive hard hard drive is also called as a hard disk these are synonyms hard disk hard disk drive fixed disk okay and uh, second one is floppy disk cd dvd memory card usb flash drive pen drive all these devices whereas here non devices Cloud storage, very, very important word. Cloud, so all these are the cloud storage only. P cloud, Dropbox, uh, Google Drive. This is very, very important. Just cloud, OneDrive, iCloud, Mega, like that many things are there. Mainly Google Drive, that's it. Yeah, how this, uh, now in this video, we'll see only the devices, part one. How the devices will store the information. See, they are the non-volatile storage. Non-volatile means it will be pressure until the volatilization up to that, it will be there. Storage devices that stores digitally encoded data, rapidly rotating rigid platters with a magnet surface. See, like this magnet surface will be there, how the magnet will attract the uh, steel uh, in the uh, iron uh, in the same fashion only. it. Uh, stores the data like that, you can keep in your mind. That's why I made here magnet. Mainly this one, magnetic surface is very, very important. In simple terms, they are, uh, they are the data storing devices. You can say usually data storing devices and working principle, how this works, records the data by magnetizing the ferromagnetic material and uh, read the data. If you want to see, not only recording the data, not only you can storage, whenever you want to read the data, you can connect it and you can uh, read it. So you can be read the data back by detecting the magnetization of the material. Here, magnet is important. All devices, these are the common points. All devices, pen drive, everything, whatever it may be. Like that, you have keep in your mind. Any device, you have to write the same matter. And these are the capacities, we know very well. Storage capacity is uh, measured in the GB, MB, KB, okay, TB, like that. Here, all these are the symbols. And uh, how many, one byte is equal to how many bytes, 
KB, uh, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, TB, TB, terabyte, and petabyte. Uh, terabyte devices, I saw number of times I saw terabyte devices, but uh, petabyte uh, I didn't saw in the market right now. Okay, and these are the equals how many MB or GB are equal to this one? One MB is equal to one zero two four KB. One GB is equal to one zero two four MB. One zero two four is a common that you can be remember, and this order is important. Okay, in the exam also you can write no problem at all. Yeah, first device we'll see hard drive. This hard drive also called as a hard drive, hard disk, hard disk drive, fixed disk. All the names are the same only. Okay, and this is a two types. One is internal hard disk, like a computer in the CPU, like this. It should see how he is uh, keep kept in his hand. Okay, this is the internal hard disk, which is a inbuilt already in the computer, in the CPU. We know a CPU. One uh, in the computer beside the computer monitor, we can see CPU. In that, it is already inbuilt. In that, we can store the storage. We can store the information, and it is also available as an external hard disk. See here, with the laptop to the laptop like this, you can be connect, and no moving parts in that. Nothing, no moving part. We cannot open it. Also, only one uh, connector will be there, and if you connect it. Uh, here, this, in that, you can send the matter, you can collect the matter, you can copy the matter, cut and paste the matter, whatever. It is called externally, you are connecting to the laptop. That's why it is called externally hard disk. You can connect to the computer also, you can connect to the laptop also, but it is external device. You can keep in your packet and uh, you can move. Okay. And who is the innovator of this hard disk is uh, first introduced in 1956 itself. It was by the IBM. Okay, IBM. And internal hard disk. What is the differences? External hard disk founded inside the computer. It is not found inside the computer. It is a inbuilt. Here it is not inbuilt. It is a part of computer memory. Every computer is having a memory that is due to the hard drive only. Internal inbuilt hardware. Here it is not a part of the memory. Okay, uh, not a part of computer memory. Here no need to connect externally. Whereas here this external hard drive you have to. Take a wire and a connector, USB connector like that. One wire you have to connect it. And hard drive manufacturer. These all these are the manufacturers of the hard drive, like a Seagate, Samsung, Toshiba, Western Digital, Hitachi. All these I see here are Seagate, Toshiba, Hitachi, Western. Not only hard drive. All these are the manufacturers of pen drive, USB drive, CD, DVD, etc. All storage devices, data storage devices. Manufacturers of that. Next, you come to the from hard drive. You come to the floppy disk. No student no don't know that because this in olden days I was using this floppy disk in olden days, 25 years back or 20 years back uh, when we are doing a my B pharmacy project, M pharmacy project, we are storing in this type of a uh, floppy disk. This is actually utter plaf. That's why name indicate uh, utter plaf. When they brought uh, it, no, it was not failed. CD is successful. CD, DVD successful, pen drive is successful, hard disk is available, but only floppy disk is uh, unsuccessful. It is available in three colors, uh, number of colors. Three sizes are available, mainly three sizes, one, two, three. Not mainly, only three sizes are available, fixed. Most probably, it, is, it looks like this. Here, matter, whatever you want, you can write your, your name, your thing, everything like that, you can be matter. It looks like this, see here. One side and another side, how this looks like. This is called a floppy disk. This floppy disk you have to keep in the computer or come in the laptop. Okay. Then only you can able to see or able to copy. Okay. Otherwise, it is not at all possible information. See, this is a floppy disk. Floppy disk. It is also called as a floppy diskety, floppy, simply diskety, like that. These are all the synonyms. It is a disk storage. Composition. It consists of a thin and flexible disk of the magnetic storage. It consists of, okay. And uh, you have to see the floppy disk drive. Floppy disk drive means if you keep the floppy inside the floppy disk drive, this is a disk drive. Floppy, you, you have to keep the, your uh, floppy disk like this. Okay. Then only the information, it can be read by this. This is called a floppy disk drive. I will show you. But keep in your mind, this is floppy disk. This is floppy disk drive. Okay, it is a floppy disk drive or two types, internal and external. Here you can see. 
which is already inbuilt in the computer. See this diagram, I will explain this. See, he is inserting into the CPU floppy disk. So here uh, you are able to see the floppy disk like that. See how he is inserting. This is a floppy disk drive, which is already inbuilt. That's why it is called an internal FDD. Whereas uh, here, external floppy disk drive, externally you have to connect to the computer or to the laptop. See how floppy disk he is inserting externally. See, this is how he is inserting floppy disk drive so that it opens uh, here in the computer like this floppy disk drive. Okay, two types in the exam you have to write floppy disk drive, not floppy disk. And next is CD or DVD players. CD, uh, this is also thing CD, DVD, both are different only. Looks like a same. Uh, small differences are there. It stores the information. And if you want to read that information, you have to insert into the player, CD player, DVD player, you have to, for CD, CD player, for DVD, DVD player. But uh, this also a possible CD, DVD player, which is a common for both, like that. It, this is also somewhat successful, okay? It is invented in 1995, but released in 1996 by, the, it is a uh, data storage device. And it's a specialty is it stores the, any kind of digital data, like a music, video games, floppy disk, you cannot store the video games like that. It is not possible for music and all. Here you can uh, find the, uh, you can store it using the DVD players and varieties. Writable, writable means single usable. Only you can, one time only you have to write single use, no erase option. Once you store the data, uh, you can use it and you, you have to throw, that's it. Whereas the rewritable is available. Multi times usage with erase option, you can erase the data and again restore the, erase the data and you can, like that it is there okay here these are the, some common differences between the cd and the dvd all these are not available in the textbook they give only one small page it is not sufficient for pharma d students and expands to compact disc digital versatile disc this is a 700 mg only mb uh, here uh, so capacity is more 4 7 to 17 gb is there uh, usage is first three points are very important the remaining not much okay uh, less as compared to DVD usage, but more usage is a DVD. See, this is a computer CPU, how he is inserting. This is a player, CD player or DVD player, like that they have to store in this uh, one and you close it. So the information, this is a button, press button here. And this is how to insert inside. This is uh, inserting into the laptop. See here, this is a laptop. Here also side, if you see, there is a CD. In future, there is no, in the laptops also, they will not provide any CD player or DVD player in future. Laptop will come only for a pen drive or that is also gone only from Google Drive only. You have to store there, you have to download. Okay. Yeah, this is how to play. This is an internal CD DVD player, which is inbuilt in the CPU or uh, uh, music system, whatever it may be. And externally also available. See here, this is externally you have to connect to the computer, CD, DVD, or directly you can, if your system is having a such, this type of system, then no problem. If it is not having a system, you have to purchase separately external CD or DVD player, and you can put the CD connected to the, your system. Yeah, and memory card. These students, I think, I, in cell phone they are using, uh, you can use for computers also, laptops also, cell phones also, uh, this is called a memory card in SD card also, like this, SD, keep in your mind, SD card. Memory card reader, this is a reader, okay? See, this is a card, this is a reader. In On that name, they have mentioned, see here, reader. Card, memory card, you have to keep in the reader. Then that you insert into the, externally to the laptop. This is a, whereas here is a only reader is there. Uh, no, no, not reader, only memory card is there, not reader, that you are inserting into the cell phone. Okay, uh, here uh, reader is inbuilt, only chip you have to insert, that's it. Here, not like that, two you are inserting, first chip, memory card into the reader, then total set you are inserting into the, here not like that, only uh, memory card you are going to be insert. USB flash drive, it is also called as a pen drive. See, this is a pen drive alone. 
pen drive alone only pen drive like this you have to keep it into the laptop so that here the bulb will glow so that it will be detected by the your laptop or computer okay and this is a common uh, pen drive with uh, sd card reader see here how many things are there uh, from this side you can read or this side also you can read that is a two in one this is a pen drive one side and another side okay yeah this is a flash drive pen drive uh, description data storage device a small printed circuit board carrying the circuit element this is the composition or a description usage data storage data backup transferring the files uh, computer files speciality flash memory dvd cd when you keep here it may take some time to read by the your computer as it but uh, pen drive it is not like that immediately flash flash that's why it is called a usb flash drive immediately when you insert to the pen drive immediately it will be detected by the computer or laptop but cd dvd floppy disk it is not possible like that okay that's why flash immediately a long durable uh, this is a long durable life is more no moving parts uh, unnamed by the surface scratches see, see cd dvd if you scratch it there is a chance of matter may be uh, erased but whereas uh, uh, there is no such a problem for a pen drive okay it is a removable rewritable smaller faster smarter more capacity immediate reading immediate recording that's why it is called a flash okay unharmed by the surface scratches memory capacity more memory capacity usually 8 to 250 all these points you have to write in the examination compulsory right recyclable allow up to 1 lakh writes uh, erase per uh, cycle up to 1 lakh times you can be copy you can paste cut copy into uh, after 1 lakh the device may be failed maybe this is my second video i am making cloud storage google drive storage no device no device information you are not storing in the pen drive not storing anywhere only in the google drive you are using that i will tell you this is a how the cloud uh, cl uh, cloud storage information will be there in the cloud from all the de which device you want uh, you can be directly you can be read from that only internet connection must that's it okay i will end my session here